Hello everyone, this is Brittany with Redeemable Junk and I'm here today to show you guys how to make, let me show you, uh, journals out of these vintage flip photos, okay? I forget what they're called, the exact term for them, but anyways, that don't matter. How to make um, journals out of them. So I'm going to show you a journal that I made yesterday. It was super quick and easy to make. These are super cute to send in happy mail to a friend. Um or to even to include with another journal. They're super cute. This is just a blank journal. So I have a glassine bag right there. And then I just have a school, a uh, school book math page, some coffee dyed paper, another paper, some school paper, dictionary page, coffee dyed paper, some more paper. And that's pretty much it on this one. So the next one that, oh, I love that. That's the, uh, the school page. I just thought that was so cute to add in there. Oh, and I forgot to show you the back. In the back is this little girl. I just thought she was precious. She looks like she was in school, so I wanted to add that book page. And then, let me tie it up. On the bottom, I have some charms. That I just added to it. A butterfly and a key. So, let's get started. We're going to do this one, okay? And I just picked out some paper. I'll show you the paper. I've already cut it and I've already have it picked out, but I just got some coffee dyed paper, some ledger type paper, a blank paper, a ledger, a paper from a ledger, a magazine page, which kind of stinks because the opposite side's upside down, which don't make no sense to me, but whatever. A piece of a ledger, um, some, what is it called? Mulberry paper, some coffee dyed paper, some more coffee dyed paper, some graph paper, some ledger paper, a glassine bag, a dictionary page, and a bill head in the middle, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper, stack it nice and neat, make sure that none of it comes out and that your book folds nice and neat. You're going to find the center of it. And you're going to open it up and you're going to push down, but you're going to want to make sure that's in the center. And you're going to get, if you have any of these clips, they're handy. I just use these clips from the Dollar Tree and I clip it. And I'm not going to be able to clip it on this side. Unless I fold that back, I might be able to. Let's see. Okay, we'll make that work. And then you're going to need a binding kit. So we're gonna get our awl. And I just guess on this, I just eyeball it, but I'm just gonna punch a hole in it. Let me stand up. Around where I think the center is. And you wanna make sure it's coming out the seam in the back. Push it all the way through. Do the same up top. Once you see that it's where it needs to be. You wanna make sure you push it all the way through and you do the same on the bottom. And we push it all the way through. Okay, get that out of the way. Next we're gonna to have to pick out our wax thread that we want to use. I should have already done that, to be honest with you. And I think I might just use black. I've got some browns. But I think, I think I like just the black. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. And you're gonna need a sewing needle. Okay. And they're just larger needles. Um, show you they're just a larger thicker needle they come with your binding kit and this is how I do it some people measure like the distance of this times three and cut it off but I don't do that I just unroll some of it and I string it through my needle and I pull about that much of it through on that side and I start sewing
You don't have to do it this way. If you like to measure yours out, you can go ahead and do that, but I personally like to do it this way. That way I know I have enough. I don't have too little, I don't have too much. I have exactly what I need. And then we pull it through. And let me put my needle up. Okay. And now we can cut some off. And you if you're gonna if you're gonna put a dangle on it, you wanna cut a little bit of extra off. And you're gonna wanna pull it real good and tight and hold it and come back here and fill. And it shouldn't be loose at all, okay? And then you can tie your first knot. And I forgot to tell you, you want one string on this side of your string that goes up and down and one string on this side of your string that goes up and down. And when you tie that first knot, you wanna make sure that there's no give, there's not. And then what I do is I had the strings in this hand when I tied the first knot, I just switch hands and I tie another knot. And this helps um, kind of lock that in. And there you have it. Oh, actually we're not done. I gotta show you guys how to close it, don't I? Okay. So we're gonna, I'm gonna add a closure to this one. She's kind of thick, so she definitely needs a closure. So what I'm gonna do, I probably shouldn't have added that many pages to her, but that's okay. I, uh, I wanted to make sure there was plenty of room for them to journal. So since I used black seam or black wax thread, I'm going to use a black, Eyelet. Alrighty, and I'm going to measure where my center is. So this is about seven inches, so we need it at three and a half. I measured on the wrong thing. I think I'm going to put it in here, so on, instead of on the inside. I, did that wrong. Three and a half. So I want my eyelet about right there. I'm going to get my um, crocodile and I'm going to use the one eighth. No, not the one eighth. The three sixteenth punch. And I'm going to punch my hole, put my eyelet in, set it, and literally this is the easiest journal that you guys can make and they're so cute. Get yourself some seam binding. Which way do I want to put it through? I think this way, yeah. Double it up. Or do it however you want to do it, of course. You might have to customize it according to how your uh, photos fold. If they fold in or if they fold out. Like this one, it opened up like a book. And this one doesn't really do that. So I had to do it a little bit differently. But I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to wrap it around. Wrap it around. And then I can tie it. And that's how I'm closing this one up. And there we have it. It's super cute. You can decorate it. You can do whatever you guys want to them. Um, and we made that in under 10 minutes. I mean, literally, it's that quick. Um, they're super cute and fun to make. And they're super cute to stick in as happy mail, you know, I mean, who wouldn't love a little mini journal? So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I promised some people that I would make this for them who bought some of these from me. So as promised, I made the video for you guys. As always, make sure to like and comment the video. That helps me out so much, more than you guys know. Also check out the description below. I have some information there for you. I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful evening.